The ability to port documents over from Zip Form 6 into DocuSign is something that's going to cha uh, change the way you work. It is a wonderful time saver, and so here is how you do that. Within Zip Form 6, I am in the transaction list, and so I'm going to choose one of our transactions and open it up. And one of the first things I want to do is make sure that DocuSign is my default e-signer. So I am going to go into Tools, Options, and the e-sign tab. The default within Zip Forms is ZipLogic's Digital Ink, but we're going to change it to DocuSign and you will enter your credentials and these are your DocuSign credentials here and then click OK. Now I'm going to go back over to the File tab and then that activates this toolbar again and I'm going to go to eSign which wonderfully ironically is set off by this pencil and paper. I'm going to click the upside down arrow there and tap Sign And it's going to bring up this menu. It has all of my documents that are within the transaction that I've chosen right now. And I can deselect or select as many as I choose. The system already knows that you don't need anything signed in your cover sheet, so it deselects it to send over. And you can promote or demote buttons over here on the right to make the documents appear in the order you'd like. On the right, we've got all of our players within the transaction. Because I don't have information for buyer one or two, for the listing agent here, I'm going to deselect the people I do not have information for. Now I'm going to tap Modify and DocuSign. And it's going to seamlessly put the documents into the DocuSign signing environment and it will pre-tag the documents in places where ZipForms has communicated with DocuSign where different parties need to sign the forms. You can, within this environment, also add more documents. You can um, add more signers also. Now what you see is the screen tip that comes up. I'm going to delete that. And what you see on the left hand side here is a drop down and it will have all of your signers and you can toggle between them and they also show up here the message and I'm just going to scroll through to see where Cassandra is to sign in these different things and I see over here on the right hand side that she will need to sign page number two and indeed there she is sign here and the date and if I toggle to her in a different role it lights up her signing and date over here in the other space. I do hope that helps you out. This is Amanda Cox, Tech Girl PDX. If you've got any other questions or training issues in DocuSign, I'd be delighted to help you out. Please contact me here on YouTube.